Hey guys, this is a video I'm recording because um, I'm getting around to updating all my Oculus Rift stuff to the most current setup. We're at um, the PC SDK 0.7 beta release. And so I've run into a couple of problems with this uh, in terms of my video not working right and my Xbox controller stopped working. So I'm going to run through this real quick to hopefully bring everybody up to speed on what I did to get things to work and maybe that helps you out. So first things first, please go to the Oculus Runtime for Windows page and then download this .exe file. Um, I already have the .exe here installed, so we'll just pretend like we're going to do that together. We'll click download. And then it's not a long file to download. It's 45 megabytes. Go ahead and run that through. Um, at this point, put the video on pause and pick this up again once it's finished. Um, after installing, please restart too, just to be sure things are working right. And then we're going to go from there. So I'm going to pause too. Hey, we're back. So hopefully you were able to run the Oculus Runtime, get everything installed, and restart the computer. If that's the case, then we want to go to the Oculus Config. I'm going to run that over here. I've got two screens going, so I'm going to keep looking in that direction occasionally. Yep. <clears throat> so here we go this guy right here. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the demo works. Your config will probably be the saved. So that's cool. We're going to go to show demo scene. Now the problem I had is that the first demo scene worked totally fine just like we're looking at here. The problem was subsequent demos. If I were to hit show demo again, and run into an issue where the video would just slow right down. I was getting maybe if I was lucky one frame a second. And this also happened in Unity. Well, the solution to this, after reading through the documentation a little bit, is that Oculus has moved to a different way of processing some of this video using the direct driver mode. Now, I have an NVIDIA card, so this is handled by their GameWorks VR technology. If you have NVIDIA, that's you. If you have AMD, you're looking for Liquid VR. Make sure you have not only the most recent updated drivers, but search specifically for the virtual reality drivers. For example, uh, this is the NVIDIA GamesWorks page for the GameWorks D uh, VR driver support. It's always something, isn't it? So I was able to find this and download that. I recommend you do the same thing, too, if you're developing VR on an NVIDIA card. So um, here's the link. I'm using Windows 10. There's also Windows 8 and 7 down here. Go ahead and download that, run it, install it, and reset. And um, go ahead and pause the video. We'll pick it up again once all that's all set. Okay, we're back. So um, something I'll just mention quickly is when I did this the first time, uh, the Oculus did show up under display settings vertically like it used to until I restart the computer. So after reinstalling, I definitely recommend that restart to clear the system out. Okay, so we've got that working. After that, let's go back to the Oculus config. Oculus config. There we go. And then just verify that things are looking good. So show demo scene should load up with no problems. It should be running nice and fast. Yep, see this is looking good. And then to make sure the problem's gone, I'll run it a second time. Mine was freezing at the second run, not the first run. And then we can see, at least in this case, the game works stuff is working perfectly. Great. So once it's working in the config, then we can reliably move on to Unity. Now, there's something I want to demo in Unity before we dive right into it. You're probably familiar with the Oculus Utilities for Unity 5. Oculus, um, excuse me, Unity has been doing a lot of great work recently with adding their own VR support. So just to demonstrate this, I'll go into a brand new project and we'll call this whatever. And then, um, okay, here it is. So we're able to now do Oculus Rift development in the preview uh, and in the game window here in real time by first setting it up. So if you go to edit and then project settings and then go to player and then look on the right hand side, scroll down to other settings and then under rendering, down at the bottom you'll see the virtual reality support option. Check that on. Now with the Rift still plugged in, and we just did the config so everything's good, uh, I'm going to press the play button and what you can see now is that we have Oculus Rift in the preview. Oh my god is that convenient. So now you can build, 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 test, 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 no more having to 
actually build out of projects. So that's great. So right there you can start to program for Oculus Rift, but I kind of like this uh, kit they have here because this gives me the Xbox One controller support right out of the gate. I don't have to rig that up myself. But in order to get that to work, we actually have to update to the most recent version of Unity. Um, so this is because I think they added the OBR input API. It's an alpha release, so I think with the old version of stuff, it wasn't quite compatible. So um, what they tell you if you dig through the documentation far enough is that you need the most recent version of Unity. And the recent version they are referring to is actually version 5.2.1p2, which came out yesterday. So I recommend coming here and updating your version of Unity. I click this link here to Unity Editor Download Assistant. Um, and I let the whole thing run. It takes about, it's about six gigs, so it takes a little while to download. Uh, this is another point to pause the video, download it, install it, maybe even reset your computer for good measure. I'm going to pause the video. Uh, when we pick back up, we'll get into it right after your install is finished. Okay, we're back. Hopefully you've got the newest and greatest version of Unity installed. And we're about ready to start doing the Xbox controller section of this. All right, so I'm going to close this window out and just reduce it down to the second piece we're going to need for this equation. And that is the... Looks like I closed that window. Here it is, Oculus Utilities for Unity 5. Go ahead and download that. Now this goes quickly. I'll just let it download. Um, you get this zip file here. So there's two steps to this. Essentially, what's in the zip file is this package that you just double click to install, and that's going to give us the, the components we need. And there's this project settings folder. Inside the project settings folder is the input manager along with some other files. This is going to give you the configuration by default for the Xbox controller. So the way to do this is first start a new project for all this stuff. So I'm going into my new and improved updated version of Unity. I'm going to start a new project. We'll give it the super cool name of new project for Xbox One. Yeah, why not? Make sure it's in 3D. Create project. Okay, so what this is doing here is it's going to generate the file system we need to get at to do these updates. So step one, and this is just a shortcut. Uh, we're going to right click on the assets folder and we're going to go to show in Explorer. This is going to save us the trouble of digging through the file system. Now the folder we need is the projects folder. So I store my, my projects in a projects folder. That's confusing, but the name of the project we created is new project for Xbox One. And then we're going to the project settings folder. All this data in the zip file is going to replace all this data in the project file. I'm going to just close that Unity so it doesn't get confused. And I'm going to delete everything out of that projects folder. I'm going to take everything from the zip and now move it into my new project for Xbox One project settings folder. Now we have the configuration for the Xbox One controller. So with that in place, there's really only one more step to this. We go back into Unity. We reopen the project we just created. And then run this package file that came in the zip. <clears throat> this is also quick, so no need to pause. It's going to install all the stuff we need. I'm going to try to make this a little more readable down here. Okay, so in the OVR folder under Assets, you're looking for the prefabs, and this is the OVR Player Controller. Drag and drop that to the canvas, and I'll create a ground plane and uh, move the OVR controller up a little bit. And I'll add an object into the scene just to give it some perspective. Maybe a sphere will do. There we go. Okay, so with all this stuff rigged up, we press play. We've got the Oculus Rift working. Fades in kind of nice there. So that's cool. And now with the Xbox controller, there we go. Pressing forward on there, we're walking forward, and things are working just fine. Now the buttons are mapped as well. If you press the left trigger, it's going to tilt your, your camera about, I'd say, 30 degrees left. And if you press the right trigger, 30 degrees right, 
very convenient if you're sitting down and can't turn around in VR, which might be the dominant format for this moving forward. Uh, your buttons also work, but they don't currently do anything in this mapping. So one other thing I just want to mention, too, that's essentially the gist of it. If you've gotten this far, congratulations, you're all done with this tutorial. But let's say your Xbox controller doesn't work, for example. This might be the first time you're trying it. Um, step one, definitely make sure you actually have the Xbox drivers for your Xbox One controller if you're not on Windows 10. If you're using Windows 10, Windows 10 comes with it. Congratulations, just plug the thing in. If not, just do your Google search for Xbox One <clears throat> drivers, Windows... Pick a flavor, hopefully not eight, but you know whatever it's out there. Uh, install the drivers and then run a program. I believe it's going to be the same thing in Windows 8. It's a uh, you search for controls. They call it setup USB game controls. Oh, excuse me, controls. Here we go. Make sure I'm clicking on the right thing here. Yep, anytime guys. Hold on just a moment. Controls. Here we go. Sorry about that. This is the game's controller menu. So one, it should be listed in this menu. Two, if you click properties, you'll get this kind of janky window here. But it'll show you feedback. As I move the stick, uh, the axis is being registered. No, I'm trying to point. Yeah, it's being registered in that small white box. Also, the buttons will show up. If you press different buttons, they light up at the bottom of the screen. So this at least lets you know at a system level things are working. But one other thing to check, if this works, great. That's step one. Step two, inside of Unity, Unity will give you some feedback in the console down here. If you unplug the controller, like so, you'll get a message and maybe a sound effect. This says joysticks disconnected. Then if you replug it back in, Unity will update and say, hey, joystick reconnected. So that at least lets you know you've got connectivity going to Unity. That's all I got for you guys. Hopefully at the end of this video, you've been able to get the video working again properly. You've installed the most recent Oculus drivers, and now you're using the new input system too, which is really exciting stuff. Um, and I guess as a parting uh, like message I recommend you go check out the OVR input docs because there's some really fun stuff in here. In particular, some nice schematics. Well, not schematics, but illustrations of ooh, the new controllers coming out. Yes, check it out. And um, yeah, enjoy that because that is very exciting stuff. At least to me it is. I can't wait to try these controls. Oh, man. So cool. In fact, they have something in here that uh, the term they're using for it is capacitive touch data. I had to Google um, what that meant, but that adds this near touch functionality. So, you know, let me know what you think of that one in the comments. Hopefully, this guys. Hopefully, this helps you guys out. And uh, you know, have fun making VR stuff. Peace.